Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Uh, I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and uh, in a few minutes, I'll pull up my co-host, Mr. William Bailey. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about who we have on tonight. Um, we have got on, I, I've split the show tonight in two different segments. Um, first up, I'm going to have Mr. Andy Sturrett, because the Ellie Remembered Foundation is having their auction and, and, and just a whole bunch of stuff that goes with it. And I'll let Andy explain it to you when, when we pull him up here. And it's coming up this weekend, the 25th. And uh, everybody knows I support this. And we want to give uh, Andy, you know, the first shot out here to uh, give it a talk because this uh, this is coming up very, very quick. You know, you're only talking, I, I believe it's the 25th is uh, Saturday. So, um, and there's an auction and everything online. Um, I, I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm going to let Andy talk about it um, because I don't want to steal his thunder, that's for sure. Uh, but I want to say hi. Uh, Bonchik is watching right now. Bonchik, I've got to meet you. You're driving me crazy. i got to tell you. Everybody knows you but me. And Stefan, I hope I don't blow your name here. Uh, Santor, hey, Stefan, you're a great buddy. <laughs> I appreciate so much you, you, you jumping in here. And Roman showed up and is getting better. Roman's very cool. I'm, I'm actually going to go do a thing for the PBSL in December. And Gumby's going to be there. Gumby's uh, very, very cool. And uh, I can't wait to meet uh, Bonchick. She just jumped out again. I can't wait, wait to meet you either. And Roman, I can't wait to see you. So we're going to pull Andy up here in just a few minutes. And uh, then after Andy, I've got another great guest tonight. Um, I believe I can get his name right. We're going to give it a shot here. Mr. Todd Winokur. Okay, Todd is the um, commissioner for Southern California PBSL. And everybody knows I like PBSL. And I got a PBSL jersey. It is so cool. I absolutely love it. I mean, I, I, I was going to sleep in it last night, but I didn't want to wrinkle it. So oh, it is so cool. A lot of art. I, I wish I could turn it around and show it to you. But, you know, I mean, both sides are just so cool. It's unreal. Maybe next week I'll flip it around and we'll do that. And then real quick before I bring my, uh, my buddy Bill up here, um, I want to mention that I have a special show. This Friday at 5 o'clock Pacific time, and um, this is a big announcement. We're going to have some some great people on here, and um, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you're going to want to tune in. 5 o'clock Pacific time. Now, it's only 8 o'clock on the East Coast. You know, usually everybody just sleep by the time I come on out here, you know. So you guys all watch my show the next day, and that's cool. You watch it. I love it. I absolutely do. And, and Gumby, cannot wait. Yeah, Gumby, that's right. I know who you are, but I, I didn't want to butcher your last name, but Gumby will work all the time for me. So, but remember, next Friday, a special time, September 24th, Friday at 5 o'clock Pacific time, we're going to have some great people. I'm going to have uh, Rick Rico Fernandez on. I'm going to have uh, uh, Jerry Braun and um, Kevin Donaldson and uh, Bud Orr. We're going to have some great people on. Um, so I want you to tune in and check that out. And Robert Rum Rumrell just jumped in. How you doing, Robert? Uh, great guy, raising his kids, young guns, just terrific. Like I say, I'm a big young guns fan. That's all there is to it. I just, uh, I push these guys uh, every chance I get. And you know, I just came back from the, um, the one to Monte Casino back in uh, Root House, Illinois, and I got to hang out with the young guns there. And you should see these guys play. Oh my God, Jamie. Jamie Connolly brought him over, and Jamie Connolly is uh, just another terrific person that works very, very hard with all these kids. Uh, you know, Mark Gong, Michael Beard, you know, uh, Robert Rumrell, you know, uh, Jamie, Jamie Connolly, Jennifer Montressor. You know, I can't say enough about all of these people. They just, uh, they're working very hard to work towards the future of our sport, and, and that's the young ones. So I'm going to give my shout-outs here real quick uh, before I bring Andy on, but let me pull Bill up real quick. What's going on, Bill? Oh, checking out a package from Inception. Oh, I bet it's something cool. Bunch of pump kits. It's awesome. It is? Yeah. Yep. Well, you look awfully excited, so I figured yep. it's either that or a candy bar. So There might be one in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Courtney, right on, Ryan. How you doing this evening, buddy? Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, I want to give my shout-outs, but, you know, real quick, uh, we've got some great people on here tonight, but real quick. 
I got to go with, you know, I talk about Tim Slots. You know, he's the first guy I talk about out of the gate when I when I give my shout outs. Because oh, yeah. the people the people I give my shout outs to are people that I knew way back in the day when paintball was just about nothing and these guys worked their fucks off for paintball. That's why they're mentioned. Now, let's start with Tim Schloss. I always say Tim Schloss, Gateway Paintball, and it's only six minutes from the airport. It was always wrong. I timed it. Um, hey, Tracy Perez is watching. Tracy, I am going to see you in November. Yeah, I cannot wait to see you in November when I go down to the workout. You're going to have to sit down with me because I'm going to go live there. You better sit down with me and talk. Let's let's give them a show when we go down there, all right? All right. So anyhow, um, back to Tim's Gateway Paintball. God, I could not believe this place, Bill. It's getting he, he builds more to it every week. He's he's a workaholic. Yeah, you know what's amazing about it? It it's got it's got like ten different kinds of fields on it. it it's what, hundred and ten acres, hundred and eight yeah, acres? At least. And he's got the largest personal lake in St. Louis County. Yeah, he's got his own lake. Yeah, he goes, Yeah, I said when I'm not doing nothing, I go out there fishing, you know. I kicked him in a leg for teasing me, but you know, it was a small kick. But you know, this field, it, it, people, if you live anywhere close to this, the St. Louis airport, it's worth a couple hundred mile drive to go to this field. I'm telling you, there is so many different variations of fields that he has here. If you don't like this kind of paintball, go over here and play this kind. If you don't yep. like that kind, go to this kind. I mean, and the woods fall field, oh my God. I mean, it was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I remember the days, you know, way back when you walked onto a field and that's what it looked like. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got a couple more woods ball fields he's getting ready to develop also. So uh, he's got some surprises coming. Yeah, he's got the room for it too, doesn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll yeah. have a little staging area for it and everything. And, and for I, I mean the staging area and all the nice metal uh, awnings and stuff all the way down yeah. there for the people. Oh, it was storage good. containers turned into new offices and yep, he's got a lot of stuff going on. He does. I you know I was so impressed it was unreal. Um, matter of fact, I flew all the way back. That's all I thought about was that field, how cool it was, and, you know, and, and how much work and time he's put into it. So. Uh me and, me and some of my team guys, we go up there and play, just to have fun with the with the open players because. They're just awesome. I, I've never not had a good time there. I, you know, I just had a, a Facebook user. Obviously, we don't know the name, but anyhow, he says he has great reps as well. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to give out my shout outs here, Billy, real quick because uh, you know I'm going to bring Andy on. You know, Andy's got uh, his his big uh, Ellie Remembered Foundation uh, auction and everything, big game. I'm going to let Andy say because he's got so many things going on. You know, yeah. without a playbook, I just uh, uh, he's getting new somehow. he's getting new new prizes every day. You know, oh, as he should. You can't keep up on the on the auction list. You know? Yeah, as he should. You know, I darn near donated you for a day, but I didn't know if Susan would appreciate it. I guess because you know Andy, he worked he worked the heck out of you. You know, great <laughs> thing. Uh, uh, now we'll talk about that later. Uh, so anyhow, uh, you know, I give my shout outs. I had to start with Tim Schloss, but I had to mention this field, everybody, because I've been to a lot of fields in all the years I played paintball, and this was so impressive. It just blew me away. You are going to want to go check it out, you know, and bug him, you know. Yeah, just go up there. Tim loves to be bugged. He's, he's a pretty cool. cool guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you know, if you didn't have the paintball field, I'd put him on stage because the guy's pretty good at playing. <laughs> Ask him about the chicken sandwiches at Lion's Choice. That's, you know, he loves yeah, those yeah. sandwiches. He does, you know, yeah. They, the guy's a light eater. You know, Terry says the minute he gets light, he starts eating. So I I, I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, um, and then I have to mention um, Mr. Dan and John Colby, Immortal Air. You know, they, they've been my sponsors for over 31 years. Um, I, I cannot ever say enough about them. I absolutely love them. And then Bud Orr, you know, I mean, um, Bud watches us every week. Bud hangs out with us when you know. Bud's part of the band, uh, the, the crazy team that runs around and looks cool, but just has a great time. <laughs> so, Mr. Bud or um, Auto Talker, you just got to love the guy. Then I have to mention Tom K. Tom K. was my sponsor for a lot of years. Uh, Airgun Designs with the Automag. Rainy and Juby Boucher, Paintball News. Absolutely loves Paintball News. I, I sure wish I was back here again. That was uh, nothing short of terrific. Um, like I say, 
two times a month. You could go out to any of your fields, pick up a copy of Paintball News. You know what just happened, what was coming up, you know, all the field, just everything. It was just like the Bible of Paintball. So, you know, I have to mention those two because they're just absolutely great. And then Randy Camilla, he was the editor back in APG. Mr. Jerry Braun. Jerry um, was uh, editor and owner of Paintball Sports, and he has the Woods Ball back in New York, which is um, and actually a very cool field. Uh, Kevin Donaldson runs it, but Jerry owns it. And I have to mention Ross Alexander, Line SI, uh, Mr. Jim Lively, Jim Lively, uh, Lively Productions. Back in the day, like I say, there was two tournaments I always got excited to go do. One was Jerry's World Cup. The other was the Masters in Tennessee. It was just... I mean, it was just like a meeting of all your friends all the time. We always went to those two. It was just absolutely great. And uh, then I have to mention Gino, Gino from Belkin. Uh, Gino, uh, I mention him every week, everybody, because Gino does a lot of stuff behind the scenes that you people don't see. Does Gino have a big business? Absolutely. You know, um, but I got to tell you, he doesn't pay me to say any of this. I say it because I see it. I'm lucky enough to to get behind the scenes and see some of the stuff this guy does. And he really does a lot for paintball. He's uh, he's a very good contributor. So I have to mention him every week. I'm very, very proud to call him a friend. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I have to mention Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong, uh, two of the young guns I talked about earlier. I just uh, absolutely love the young guns. And, and these are two, uh, Mark Gong Sr., their father, and Michael Beard have worked very, very hard uh, putting Hermes together, and they've done it. Absolutely terrific. So I'm going to say hi real quick to Mr. Jeff Thompson up there in Canada. Jeff is a great guy. Um, I cannot wait until all of this garbage is done, Jeff, so we can start playing paintball together. Either I'll come up there or you come down here. I don't care how it rolls out. We just want it to end. So anyhow, so right now I'd like to bring up everybody. Um, this weekend's going to be a terrific uh, auction. Uh, Giveaway, paintball, just everything about it. And uh, this is the guy that's in charge of everything. This guy put it all together. And uh, I'd like you please to welcome Mr. Andy Scarrett. What's going What's on, Andy? Man? Hey, you know, you look like Where's Waldo. Might want to lower your camera a little. Hey, there he is. Yeah, there you go. How you doing, buddy? Sorry, right. You know, my head was up in the clouds because you mentioned you'd give me bill for the day. And I was like, well, let's see. Somebody yeah. needs to bring me a sandwich. We got bathrooms uh, yeah, that need to be cleaned. Change the oh transmission. I'll make a sandwich, but I'm not too good at cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd throw that out there, but uh, Susan says no way. So she says yeah, right. him around there. He does important stuff, I guess. Yeah. Love it. So, Andy, um, I know you got your your big event coming up this weekend. Tell everybody about it and, and how they can get involved also. Well, for you know those that are not local to the Denver, Colorado area or close by surrounding states, because that's a drive any direction um, to get here, we've got the uh, auction going on, which has uh, been exciting because we've been watching that every day. Uh, I was sitting here looking at it a minute ago, and there's a, a battle going on between Dynasty and the OG Iron Men. Both friends of mine, but of course, Weez is you know coming to the event this weekend, uh, so I probably got to lean on the OG Ironman side a little bit. But <laughs> they're losing right now. Of course, Dynasty just came off that win at the in Chicago, so you know, right? Surprising uh, with that, but yeah, those the, their jerseys for uh, Yosh and Alex and Weez and Dirk are uh, continue to climb. Good. Uh, so that's exciting. So that's one way to support getting the auction. Uh, of course, there's a bunch of Hermes' headbands on there, and like Bill was talking about, it's hard to keep up. I've got a, it's going to be a late ad coming, because I've got to get the pictures, but Dynasty, the whole team uh, from Chicago, signed another Hormesis headband, which one of my guys has in his possession that's sending me the pictures, hopefully tonight, and then getting that thing uh, next day aired over to us, so we've got it for saturday we're going to add that so that could uh, catch fire too but a lot of good stuff on there um but or obviously who you mentioned here's you know one of us on the band um we've got two snipers on there that Bud built and 
and some other guys, the Booney Boys, and I keep forgetting the one guy's name. Bill knows them. That Martin Malt Mackey made some medallions uh, to go with them, but uh, and then Mean Gene, obviously another band member like us, uh, helped out on that. Those two markers keep going up. One of them is up to five hundred bucks right now. Yeah, but the yeah, I'm looking at that. So those, you can't go wrong. Those hand grips are just crazy. They set those markers off big time. They're nice. Okay. I've got he does, a a great, he does all different kinds of them, too. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. He'll custom make you anything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's a yeah. good guy. These two are nice. I was kind of like, can I just take them off and, you know, put some stock ones back on? But I figured I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it tortured me if I, you know, pulled that one. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, too late they, now. They're, they're they're already on the internet. So yeah, they're they are nice. They are smooth. I really want to shoot one, but uh, I was gonna do a video and decided I better not put air on them and, and shoot them since they're brand new. I was like, Ugh. oh, that had to be torture for you. Uh, well, it is because you know you always you get all this cool stuff in for auctions and things, and you want to. Well, you know, we accosted your jacket last year. Yeah, that was more Steve that accosted it more than me, but. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Bill said it still smells like Canadian bacon. I'm not sure what's going on. It, it probably uh, does. It never goes away. My house smells like that from Steve being here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. So I'm yeah. always finding little parts of Steve <laughs> everywhere around my house. So. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, forever, yeah. <laughs> hey, Daniel, Daniel Massey's watching us right now, too. I want to say hi to him real quick. Go ahead, Bill. Well, we'll say hi to him. I just did. Oh, we'll say hi again. Oh, I cut through the chase. I cut through the chase. <laughs> I mean, boom, 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 boom. It's done. Well, that's why you're the captain of the band. That's what I hear. We just do what you say, Captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Andy, you know. Yeah. You know, Andy, I see you get, actually got uh, some stuff also from the Denver Broncos. Actually, we did. Um, I'm waiting to see. I just noticed people are watching that. There's um, a <laughs> And a football that are autographed, which is probably more for the local people uh, here than anything, unless you're a Broncos fan out in California, which you should be. But, you know, I think there's three of them out here, but, you know, there's two million people. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe four out of the whole state. (laughs) I guess you could like San Francisco and you can't like the Raiders anymore because they moved to Vegas. So uh, put that out of the picture. There you go. (laughs) Yeah. So. that stuff's yep. on there, and and there's uh, you can't forget the trade my gun outlaws and Taylor Kerman, and we added uh, Spesh Robinson from the All A's. You know we were hanging out with him because they were pitting right next to us at the Woods Ball World Cup. Yep. Um, his jersey's on there, Mr. Dave Baines that you probably know real well. Oh yeah, threw his Edmonton uh, Impact jersey on there too. Very that good. Took a jump up this morning. What's what's getting me though is. The band shirt and jersey are, are the two lower of all those collectibles. So how come yeah. the popular ones? Yeah, it's amazing, you know, because that has, you know, all the signatures, you know, Bud Orr, Dane Colby. Uh, it's got Bill Bailey's signature on it, people. Come on. Well, that's, yeah, that's a big that's thing like, right there. Yeah. I was going to I was going to circle that. Yeah. Museum. <laughs> what? I'm I don't know. snag him for the museum at the last minute, so. You've already oh. got some. <laughs> Oh, way to go, Andy. Uh, All right. Now everybody's going to bet on them. I'm going to let them know. The other, the other surprising thing, because you know, we were Shut talking up. about uh, Rennie, uh, we got to get some people bidding on that 1996 and 1997 PayPal News editions. Those people, things are awesome. I got, you know, they sent me a couple. They are, they're like this thick, and they have, uh, I opened it up, and it brought back such memories, you know. If you if you want to get something, people, that you can actually sit and open up and read what happened back in the day when paintball was uh, still growing, I will say, you're going to want to bid on these and get these. These are hardcover, and I mentioned at the beginning, you know, Rainy and Juby Boucher. You'll look through these paintball news, and you'll you'll just sit there and you'll go, my God, this happened, this happened, this happened. I wish this was going on today, because right. paintball news it was the bomb. If my paintball was a religion, those would be the Bibles. That's Bibles. absolutely yep. huge. Yep. I agree. Yep. So yeah, you're gonna want to bid on those. You know, bid on bid on all of them because you know you're not you're not bidding on this stuff to to send Andy to Disneyland. Everybody, you're bidding on this stuff to help people. 
And, um, you know, that's that's a big thing, you know, and I salute Andy for uh, for diving in and doing this. I really, really do. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, bidding on this stuff is, is a good thing. You're first of all, you're promoting paintball by showing that that we actually care, because, you know, uh, every time you bid on something, you make it go up. First of all, you're helping somebody else out there that can't help themselves because that's where Andy shifts the money. Am I right, Andy? Yeah, the, you know, with being a nonprofit, we uh, yeah. do a lot of work with kids. Um, we've gotten calls, and yeah, cause, you know, we, we concentrate a lot with helping fellow paintball players, right? So right. We, we get calls and, and different things for people in trouble that you know are in a domestic violence relationship had something going on. Um, so we, we try to channel it there first, and then of course, you know, locally with kids and things here and getting ready to branch that out and get our chapter teams involved with helping kids in other local communities. So we're doing some stuff for kids, me and me and Bud uh, been talking about so, some other ways to do some things and coming up some creative ideas to launch across the country and different things like that. But even, you know, regular adults that aren't paintball players, we've gotten called before uh, <coughs> saying, hey, I've got a friend that's trying to get out of a relationship and they just bailed out the door, which is typical for a lot of these situations. And there was uh, one lady that was up on, uh, well, she's not on your side of the country, up in uh, it was Oregon, and left her abuser, which was a boyfriend that she had literally moved from Denver uh, up to Oregon. So I had no friends, no family up there. Um, you know, the abuse cycle started she figured it was time to get out, you know, took her dog and uh, a backpack and left, right? With nowhere to go, no, nowhere to help and no money. So we put her up in a hotel for a week and she couldn't fly because the uh, dog she had, he was like a 10 year old. Um, he couldn't go into a, a cage for a flight. So we helped arrange uh, uh, somebody driving California up there, pick her up, drive her back to Denver um, with the dog you know, type of Oh, very thing. cool. So, you know, and, and, and food and things like that, and, and the money goes uh, to food banks and things. We literally go over and, and purchase stuff for some of these food banks that support domestic violence uh, programs and take it over and deliver it and help hand it out, you know, and things like that. So it's not going into, you know, buying uh, you know, markers for me and, and Fred, because Fred's yeah. got, you know, um, Bill's got too many, so he should, you know, donate some, but, you know, it's another book. <laughs> well, you know, since, you know, since you mentioned markers, um, I'm not going to say a bunch about this because this is going to be a surprise, but uh, I've been keeping tabs on uh, one that's uh, being put together for someone uh, that's supposed to be pretty special that uh, oh, I yeah, understand yeah. this weekend is supposed to happen, too. Yeah, there's a, um, it's Rift. red. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. red. Yeah, it uh, is. Some of the guys, you know, did that, and so I'm going to have that. It should be here. Um, another band member, Mr. Caesar Vito, um, who's also a highly remembered uh, supporter with Ultra Silk, which we'll have available in the tent because we have a bunch of it for sale. Um, yeah, and of course, he does all my markers, and all of our markers. Right, um, absolutely does. Treated that red marker. So I got a feeling it's going to shoot just as nice as Steve's because uh, he, you know, did one for Steve and, and me. So that's going to be a, a fun little thing to do at the event. Yeah, I tried. To, I tried to get him to, to super glue his bell, but he wouldn't do it. But I thought that would have been pretty <laughs> funny for Steve. So, but uh, anyhow, um, you know, talk a little bit about the event that's going to happen this weekend because you know it's more than just the auction. You got a lot of stuff going on there also, don't you? Yeah, so what we do, and this being the third year, it, it continues to expand. Um, we're hoping he's working on a trailer, but you probably know, and Bill may know, Sonny Lopez. Um, yeah. He's working to try to find a trailer, because they had some trailer issues, to hopefully get down here with the Hitman uh, Air Powered Time Trial setup. Where uh, if you've seen that, you go through and you shoot targets through holes in fencing, and it's how fast you can run through. So we're yeah. hoping to have that here if he gets the trailer situation figured out because their trailer broke, I guess. And he's in Grand Junction on the other side of the state. So he's like, Ugh. so hopefully that's there. But 
Greg Hastings just did one of those too, I believe, last weekend. Yeah, they did one down in Texas too. So they're yeah. really starting to kick off. And, and yeah, he, he even had his wife going doing it. It was pretty cool. Oh, nice. You know so Greg hopefully. Hastings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So hopefully that happens. If not, we're still plenty of paintball. So what we, we basically do, we've got the main field out at Dynamic that will be running, you know, capture the flag games. Last year we had, I think it was close to 175 people. Cool. Uh, so it's big enough to, you know, separate up some, some pretty big teams. So we'll be doing those with, you know, different little scenario things going on out there in different, you know, game formats. We'll have the, we changed it up. It's going to be a four-man tournament. We decided to, you know, be different. So instead of three-man and five-man, let's just do four. Because every five man has four players, and every three man always has an extra. So <laughs> we'll do four man. Oh, well, you've done the math. I like. That. So and it's it's on a NXL five man field actually. Um, so that extra body might help out because playing three man on that thing, um, there's a lot of territory to try to take when you only got three three guns going out there. So that'll there be a, a double elimination event. Um, you know because just trying to run through it quickly it's not an all-day type of you know nxl event so there's a bunch of teams signed up for that already and that's free to enter we don't charge people for it you just you know buy your paint like you would to play on the rec field and get out there and start blasting nxl rules um with 10-5 capped but we are allowing mechanical so those that uh, want to shoot their cockers and, and their auto mags and everything else get out there and do it since you know we're all into mechanical with the band playing woods ball and everything i was like oh, yeah. i'll take my cocker out there and go and shoot 12 or 13 instead of 10 5 capped and you know your electronic <laughs> guys can just you know reap it there so, you go uh, oh i love about. a guy with an attitude don't you go right <laughs> going old school with you know with everything we're like no throw it out there yeah. um, you know run what you run hey, just, like, hey, <laughs> so, hey just let everybody know how old you are so yeah me too pal did that last weekend you guys got me by a few years. Remember that. Bill, Bill couple, and Bill are yeah. close. Yeah. It's, it's still beating us, though. Um, oh, yeah, so. I guess I'm the winner there, huh? <laughs> that well, sucks. That was, <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the best thing is, Bill, we'll never catch him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I love yeah, it. The fun continues. Um, yeah. Then we will also have the Mega Arena up, so we'll be doing the Jelly Ball yeah. um, and the Gel Blasters, because Gino um, came on board as a Alley Remembered uh, sponsor. Oh, cool. So he, uh, he sent some Gel Blaster stuff that'll be on the raffle and everything, and they'll have the Jelly Ball going on inside the Mega Arena, so we'll be able to accommodate you know kids that are six years and up. That would be great. Doing that. So, yeah, that Jelly Ball is something else, i got to tell you. That's that's, That's a, a, a new craze, believe me. It's going to, uh, this is just the beginning of it. It's That's really why we went, and, uh, me and, or us, I should say us, I should say me, because I've got a board of directors. Well, oh, we know how you are. No, it's always right. me, me, me. Go ahead. Um, I kind of suckered him into it, but we, we bought a, uh, in conjunction with Mike, the owner of Dynamic Paintball, we bought a uh, 30 by 60 foot uh, mega arena. Yep, the blow up. That's pretty yeah, cool. Blow up inflatable field, and then you just throw some air bunkers or whatever you want in there. Yeah. And go to town. I think it's thirty three by sixty. But Something yeah. like that. We're yeah, gonna yeah. take it and, and use it for events for kids and all kinds of stuff all around Colorado next year. So that'll be fun. So that'll be going on. Um, Very and, cool. Of course, with the because we're a domestic violence organization, um, empowering people. Um, to be free of whatever's, you know, bothering them and, and everything that goes with it. This year, we've added in two empowerment stations that I believe the ladies were calling like shooting stigma and smashing stigma stations. Oh, cool. uh, one of them, and I've got a ton, I've got like 200 ceramic plates, brand new, sitting in my garage. One of them's a breaking plate station. So you can come up, you can buy a plate. We'll have a wall set up out of uh, either brick or we'll use one of the uh, containers out there. We haven't told Mike that yet. Um, you'll write something, you know, that, that's bothering you with the Sharpie um, on the plate and then smash it against the wall. So if you've ever done those, I don't know if you've ever gone and done any one of those, um, I forgot what they call them, but we have a couple here in Denver where you go in and 
you can buy like old lamps, computers, all kinds of stuff because they always have this big pile of junk. You take it into this room and they've got bats and golf clubs and crowbars and all these things lined up and you just pick your weapon and start wow. smashing the, the crap out of whatever you brought in there. Um, highly, highly uh, encouraging doing that because it's a great release, especially if you're stressed out. Sounds that way. Go in there and beat the crap out of stuff. And I'm sure <laughs> they've got them in, you know, I'm sure they're all over the country, but um, that's sort of a great, great thing. Yeah, they do that with cars too. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they do so, that with cars too. Yeah, um, Mark Gong's watching us right now too. What's going on, Marky? Yeah. Swing it, Mark. And then yep. they wanted to do um, a shooting range that's the same way, which we actually did a range at the actual breaking plates um, mm -hmm. that we did. We set up a, a shooting range inside this art gallery, totally enclosed it with plastic, and we used 50 cal back then. And we put up this big uh, pallet that was all painted up with all these words like anger and depression mm -hmm. and all these everything and at this women's event and let them shoot 50 cal at it and it was like the most popular station in this sure. thing with hundreds of people that attended that night besides the plate park so they're like let's do that so that's been built and set up so that'll be going on you can walk up there and shoot what ails you and of course we've got the uh there's a raffle going on uh our own uh, mr wheeze has been uh, pretty much driving that one for us and gathered a ton of headbands, jerseys, uh, modern day pirate stuff. He yeah. probably needs three extra suitcases to get on the plane to come here with all this stuff. <laughs> so, bring in for the raffle. So hats off to Weez and the OG Ironman and Dirk and everybody right um, on, for backing us the way they do on that one. Right so we'll be doing that. And then we've got, because it's Weez coming, and modern day pirates are, are coming. We've got some little plastic um, pirate coins, gold coins. Oh, cool. But just to, you know, to, to honor them and, and what they're doing. That will be a um, heads or tails game. So oh, cool. you buy, the, you buy your, your gold coins, and when we start playing, the DJ will flip a quarter, and you're like, heads or tails, put your hand on your butt. And whatever comes up, if you're like this and your heads are still in, if you're tails, you're out. But if you bought multiple coins, you can toss a coin in and stay in the game. And that'll go down to the last two. Uh, whoever wins is going to get a prize for that. Um, so, and a bunch of other little things going on for kids. And, and Sounds things. like a fun, hot fun time, buddy. Racing. It really, really does. Yeah. Yeah, we got Hot Wheels racing, too. If another right on. one of our team members, uh, Joe, uh, Uncle Joe Speedway. He's a Hot Wheels dealer, so he's bringing out his 25, I think it's 20 or 25 foot four lane Hot Wheels track that actually has a loop in it, I think, on this one, and setting it up. So bring your Hot Wheels cars, and because uh, I didn't realize, I don't know if you guys did, <laughs> there is a serious racing Hot Wheels. Oh yes, there is. There always right? has been. Yeah, there always has been. Yeah, I didn't know. pink slips. Oh, yeah, these guys, they, they've got classes. It's by weights. Yep. all kinds of they got like a whole rule book just for racing hot wheels cars so this one will just be open class you could you know bring rung which rung uh, there'll be some prizes for stuff like that just like the trans lab we got the um uh, timing system set up for that too so you can win some uh trans labs and different things too so there's a lot going on that sounds like a fun weekend buddy yeah that sounds like a fun weekend you know i i wish i had time to come out there but i just got so much going on but you know, I support you, and uh, I appreciate yeah. you coming on tonight and telling everybody about it, too. Well, we're hoping to you know, see everybody out there. The, the, the good news is this year, last year we had to push it out to July, and that was all due to the, the trial going on for Allie's murder case. Right. Mm -hmm. Pushing and pushing it. So we ended up doing it in July, and it was like 105. Um, this year, now we're in September, since we did, we we're still taking care of that case this year, it's going to be like 84 on Saturday and nice a lot more so, livable yeah so, won't be as bad so yeah well, we, play. well i appreciate so much coming on tonight um you know, uh, you you know I, I support you i support your organization and everybody if you get a chance this saturday one more time where is it at it's at dynamic paintball and airsoft which is you know, in denver colorado 
So if you go on Facebook and look up Dynamic PayPal and Airsoft, you can find it, or you can look up Allen Remembered Foundation on Facebook, and everything's listed there under the event. Or just go to allyremembered.org, which is the easy one, and click on the uh, charity game uh, in the thing or the menu and go to charity game and all the information's right there, including the auction link too. Sounds good, buddy. All right, well, you have a good evening, Andy, and uh, thanks again for coming on. And uh, remember, everybody, head out there this weekend. You're going to absolutely love it. There's only about a gazillion things to do. So, uh, yep. Hey, Andy, good luck this weekend, buddy. Well, we're going to miss you, but uh, hopefully we'll see you and Bill at whatever next event we're playing with the band and go shoot yeah. some more. I can't wait, buddy. You take it easy, Andy. Have a good one. All right. See ya. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Andy Sturette um, from the Elder Remember Foundation. He's going to have the, the big doings uh, this weekend uh, on Saturday. If you get a chance, go out there. If you can't get out there, jump online and bid on some of these things. All the money goes to a good cause, okay? So let's do it. Come on. Let, let's show what paintballers can do, okay? Let's do it. Now, I want to bring on a guy I've been sitting. He's been sitting here patiently in the green room. Um this guy is pretty cool. Um, he's the commissioner for Southern California PBSL, and everybody knows I love the PBSL. Please, everybody, welcome Mr. Todd Winokur. Hey, hey, you how you doing, Todd? Good. How are you guys? Doing great. Um, you know, let me start right off the bat by saying I love that jersey. My wife. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, my wife goes, "Oh my God, is that for me?" I go, "That's why I get stuff so big." You know, <laughs> yeah, I could find a guy in smaller. Shit. Bill, you know, that's true. You know, I don't get the kid because I'm fat, damn it. <laughs> we can get her in on the next order. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, you know, Todd, tell us a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of people out there know about the PBSL, but, you know, uh, maybe some of our viewers haven't, haven't heard exactly how this thing works. Maybe tell us a little bit about how it works and what you sure. got coming up, my good man. All right. Sounds good. Well, you know, PBSL is a very, very cool format um, and a way to get to meet new players and uh, increase your skill level to a new level. Um, PBSL, in case you didn't know, um, is stands for Paintball Skills League. All right. So we're looking to improve your skills. And that's what it's about. You know, and every day there's a learning experience, um, you know. I still learn something at each event, you know. Um, the format that we have uh, for the most tournaments, uh, we do do some other tournaments that are, are predetermined um, squads. But the way PBSL started was random draw uh, tournaments. <clears throat> so basically you can sign up by yourself and you don't need a team. Um, there's nobody to rely on to make it to that event or correlate with other than the people that you were chosen a couple of days before. So you don't need to like, you know, have a team to sign up. It's a great way to get people into tournament paintball. And a lot of people are scared to, um, you know, to make that jump because they don't have a couple of friends um, to, you know, join a, a little a tournament that, you know, is a higher level than they feel that they're at. Um, so the cool thing uh, also is that, you know, you're mixed with people that are all different skill levels. So most likely you're going to get somebody on your team that does know how to play. In fact, um, my, my Southern California League is the original league. And, um, man, all the big pump teams um, play in PBSL Southern California. So, um, you know, you're looking at having possibly guys from the Aztecas or one up or common dog, you know, um, on your team. And that's going to make, you know, increase your, your awareness of, of how to play the game. They're going to help teach you. And, um, uh, you know, you're going to hopefully have a chance, maybe even win. Um, <laughs> the coolest thing I've seen is when somebody has never played a tournament before, and actually, I've had guys that have never played pump before. My league is also only pump. Um, and we'll grab somebody. Let's say we're short on players, and we'll grab somebody from the parking lot that is a, you know, a, a semi player. And we'll give them a pump and like, hey, we really need somebody in the play. And they end up being on a team with some good players, and they get first or second place they or win, podium. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, and this is the first tournament they've ever played in, and they've never even used a pump gun before, and they won. Well, you know what's you cool, know? too, Todd, is you get to meet people, and, you know, you might go there not knowing anybody, and next thing you know, you're on a team. Those guys are your friends. Yeah. So that's what I liked about it. You know, Bill, I, I talked to Bill about this, you know, the PBSL. I'm always always talking PBSL. I, I just absolutely love it. You know, and, and Bill, you know, Bill has a field also. Bill has Bailey's Battlefield. Yep. And uh, isn't what do you think of that? Isn't that a great way of playing, oh, though, yeah. go out there and, and picking? Yeah, we're going to try and get involved with it next year. Yep. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. you know, you can get it started. Um, really, it doesn't have to be, like, a huge deal to get it started, too. Just the, the way that it actually was started. I'm going back in history here now for you guys. Um, we That's had where it came uh, from. <laughs> we were all uh, referees at Field of Fire uh, Paintball in Valencia, California. And um, we also wanted to play in the PBSL, too. But we had to work. So the only way that we could do it was to play at 4.30 once the park closed. So we would run PBSL with whoever wanted to stay after from like 4.30 to 7.30, you know, and hopefully make it before it got dark. And, you know, very often it was nine players. But that was how it got started. You know, you, you three, three, and three, and you roll random cards, and you draw your teams, and someone, you know, will win that event. And that's how you start the season. And then more people kind of get the buzz. And yeah. uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, a huge thing to get a PBSL um, started uh, somewhere. Well, Bill would be the guy to do it because, you know, I mean, the guy is uh, loves paintball, does a lot for paintball, too. And we just had a, a Facebook uh, user jump in and said, start it at Fields of Fire. So, you know, it, it yeah. might be somebody that you know, too. I, I can't see his name because he's I'm a sure. Facebook user. But, but, yeah, how long have you been doing this? Uh, it started in, I believe it was 2006. So, this it's is the... While. Yeah, this is the 16th season uh, that we're doing right now. And like I said, you know, first seasons were maybe nine players, 12 players was an average, you know, uh, a day. Uh, we've had as many as, as 84 players join. Wow. So on any event. And I also, um, you know, we, we each, each commissioner, you know, has a little bit of freedom to do what he thinks, you know, is good for the sport and will work. And um, in my league, I do a mini as well. And we train the kids on how to play paintball as well. So <laughs> we, run that, we run that at the same time. Oh, so I'm blocking myself. We run that at the same time as we run the um, other events. So let's say we, you know, we've got the list of the games. And um, it'll have, you know, main event, main event, main event. And then the next game will be mini. And the game after that will be mini. And then main, 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 et cetera. So the schedule is, is mixed with main and mini. And then, you know, each time at the end of the day, we have, we have main event winners. And then we have a winner for the mini event. And, you know, very often we'll have, <laughs> let's say, four, maybe five teams for the, uh, the mini. So a lot of these kids are winning and really enjoy that you know they're getting cool prizes Absolutely. um man it's good yeah. for our sport buddy you know it, it builds the mm -hmm. sport i preach that all the time you know yeah definitely. Any, go ahead bill well on average how many games a year does a field put on well it's not necessarily the field it's pbsl that's putting it on and i, I am i run it at different fields i try to spread it out um, you know, we originally started at Field of Fire, and we only did it there, and we were the referees there, you know, so, yep. uh, but they, it was really small then. Now we, um, you know, our local field mainly is Ambush and uh, Combat, and then also Ambush owns Warp, which is right next to Combat, too. Usually I'll do probably like one out of six events at Warped, and then the rest I'll switch back and forth at Combat and Warped. And I try to stay uh, up here in the, you know, in the northern part of Southern California because there is another league down south, uh, Inland Empire, Los Angeles area that Daniel Gonzalez runs. Right. So, you know, like Hollywood sports would be the middle between our two leagues. You know, he's doing SC Village and um, 
Actually, right now, just he's just doing him at SC Village. But, you know, anywhere far south, that's all there is, is his league. And then I'm kind of up here in the in the northern part of Southern California. Yeah. Bill, you know, you're thinking about doing that, right? Yes. Yeah, yep. you're gonna keep you're gonna keep it because I know that they, there's a couple different formats. I, I know they've got that. Uh, I can't remember what the heck they call it. What is it? Uh, seven three or something like that, where it's seven pumps and three. Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. All right. So PBSL, you know, started and we were just running our PBSL random tournaments. That was PBSL. All right. Yeah. But you know, once we started getting more and more players. Dennis, who started PBSL, he was a referee. He's actually the one who invented the format. Um, he, um, uh, let's see, I got off track. He, um, uh, wait, God, what was I freaking talking about? I totally spaced. Yeah, um, well, well we, were, we were just talking about the 10. It's a 10 oh, the 10 match. match. Seven, yeah, yeah, sorry, three, sorry. Yeah. I got off track there. Yeah, no, so then once we started getting the events, you know, kind of uh, get growing bigger, he decided to do some events that, like, you know, would let the teams gang up and do their, you know, play with their chosen friends, right. not not just the random squads. So we decided to do a 10-man tournament because there hadn't been any 10-man formats for a while. And uh, so it was kind of right at the beginning of when 10 man was coming back. And uh, the format is seven pumps and three mechanicals, or uh, we're actually letting electro this year. So three machine guns and se and seven pumps. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's a pretty cool format. I mean, you know, you got to really like protect your machine gunners and they're trying to like, you know, get those lanes going so that those fast, you know, guys can make it uh, to where they need to. Um, it's a pretty cool format. And then, you know, of course, it's it's predetermined teams, too. So you've got a lot of heavy-hitting teams out there that are, you know, really, really yeah. trying to win. So I'll yeah. tell you, Todd, some of these kids up here, I watched them, you know, the pump guns with the PBSL up here. Some of these kids pump so fast you think they're shooting a semi. Yep. <laughs> it, yeah. I mean, it's just unbelievable how fast they pump. And Stephen Gumby down there says uh, he got poison ivy. I wonder where he got poison ivy from, Bill. Hmm. California, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know. I, 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 I guess it's, I think he imported it. Uh, <laughs> he, he probably got it at SC Village. <laughs> I love it. So you got some events coming up now, Todd, um, in the next couple months. Why don't you tell everybody about those a little bit? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I'm also helping Ivan Aquino run uh, the end game which is our, our this will be our second year and uh, we're doing that that's in in november and um it's going to be um at gladiator uh paint, excuse me december gladiator december, paintball yeah. yeah gladiator paintball park yeah, and down for um, that one. that's going to be a fun event we're kind of the theme is uh like a a, a uh, apocalyptic um theme so you know you've got two different clans that are kind of the the end of the world scenario and you know they're fighting against each other the good versus the evil and um you know <laughs> <laughs> the uh uh first strike rounds allowed smoke grenades um the field is beautiful gladiator paintball park is a really nice park uh and definitely can accommodate you know 150 people plus on on those fields um so yeah i'm coming down to do that i i'm pretty excited uh mean gene is going to be there um from what is he auto car auto cocker parts auto com. that's him yeah he, he was just with uh bill and i back at uh rude house illinois at monte casino and we had a great time so i am awesome i am really looking forward to coming down there there you that's go oh yeah right on uh, yeah, so I'm yeah. looking forward to coming down there in December and doing that. That's going to cool. be pretty cool. That's going to be good stuff, man. So um, that's one event that we got coming up. And then, you know, the 10K you mentioned, I believe that's closed right now. Um, and that, you know, that's the 10-man event. Um, and, that's in October you know, now, right? October 16, predetermined teams. So all the big pump teams in Southern California are in on that. And then... Um, the 23rd is my next random draw tournament. So if you want to get in that, you still can. You just sign up on the PBSL Southern California page, and there's a list. It's, it lists the event, and all you do is say, like, I'm in. And uh, if you commit to playing, make sure that if you something comes up, 
and you can't make it, that you remove yourself from the list. Um, that's probably the most difficult thing about PBSL is correlating, um, you know, like 50, 60, 70 people um, in a singular format, not a team. Like when there's 10 teams and you got 10 team captains, there's only 10 people to deal with. Right. PBSL I, is a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have usually like 60 or 70 people to deal with. Um, wow. So when is, cool. when is this one you just mentioned now? It's the what? Uh, that's the 23rd of October. Of October, okay. Uh -huh. What's that going to be at? That one is going to be at Combat Paintball Park. Okay. And it's going to be on the Airball Arena. On the Airball Arena, okay. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes we'll switch up and we'll do Hyperball um, as well. You know, depending on availability, you know, on, on fields, if that is booked or whatever, we'll we'll do move over to hyperball. Bill, you're thinking about getting into that next year, then? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking about though is just with with, with mechs, because around here uh, more people are getting involved with mech tournaments and everything, and and uh, just you know randomly draw four players, you know, and they can just use mechs. We could do it with pumps easily, mm -hmm. but. We, we've got a lot more teams around here, uh, you know, that, you know, they, they're they getting back into mech. So it, yeah. I'm, I'm going to seize that opportunity and just, just go with yeah. that. Okay, you know, I agree. Um, it is, you know, you can do that format. I mean, you know, it, you are – I'm I'm really trying to keep that stock class um, yeah. Oh, yeah. thing alive. And, you know, my league – um, not not the like the 10k and the predetermined team ones, but the random draw events. Those are all uh, maximum 50 round loader, and your loader also has to be a feed gate that you load with a 10 round tube. 10 round, yeah. You are not allowed to use any pods, and you are not allowed to open your loader and put in more than one tube at a time. Yeah, that's how it was up here. To the one I went up here too. That was. Uh... That, you know, that was like way back in the beginning. It was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's still the format itself, you know, whether whether you use the pump or you use the, the mechanical. I don't know too much about using the electronic, but the pump and the mechanical, it's still the same format. I think the format is just absolutely true. I just, uh, Agreed. you know, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I go there, I draw a card, and I meet a couple of guys that I, I might have never met before and go out and have a great time. And then if you win something like that, <laughs> I mean, these are your best buddies forever now, you know? I mean, oh, totally. Yeah, it's just a, a great, great format. And you said you work with some of the youngsters, too, am I right? Yeah, well, we we we're, we have the mini league, so we do the mini at the same time. And, and uh, you know, usually my average mini is, is probably 9 to 12 kids. We've had as many as 24, but the school year usually kills that. Um, but I have some pretty hardcore kids and actually I would say that, um, one, if not two seasons in PBSL, the kids that are, uh, the better of those kids are being picked up at teams at age 12. I believe it. Wow. So like, you know, like good teams are like going, Whoa, we better get that guy now. Yeah. What's, what's your, you know, what's the average age or, or what is your cutoff age for the young guns? Uh, the mini is 10. To 16 years old. There you go. Perfect. And that's also yeah. pump only. It's not anything but pump, but we do let them use a loader instead of, a, you know, any size loader. So they can put a, a 200 round loader, an electric loader, whatever they want. We don't, uh, we don't let them, you know, do the, uh, the limited rounds. We just let them do whatever and they can carry one pod too, which nobody ever gets to. They don't yeah, even I get through the, you know, the loader. Oh, I bet that's great. Yeah, because, you know, that, that's a big thing. You know, I, I, I really push uh, everybody working with these kids because, you know, obviously it's the future of the sport. You know, that's definitely in inevitable. That's just how it is. So to hear that you do stuff like that, you do at the same time you have your regular tournaments? Yeah, every time we have it, there's a mini, a mini series at the same time as the main. So on October 23rd as well, we do have a mini signups also already up on, on PBSL Southern California. Just, you know, if you want your kid to get in and you want them to learn how to play tournament paintball, we will train them. We will make your kid a paintball player. He will know what's up. We're going to train this kid, and he's going to be a killer after one season. 
Yeah. See, that, that's why, you know, Mark Dong and Michael Beard up here, they work with the Herman, which is our young gun team around here. And mm-hmm. that's what these guys do, you know, is is just like what you were just saying. They work with the kids. They teach them, you know, uh, you know, do this, do that. And, and then their attitudes for the kids are just great. When they come off the field, there's no screaming or, or shouting or anything. You know, it's just that they just mm-hmm. have a great, great time. And, you know, once they do that, Todd, they're going to keep playing for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. I wish I was trained at age 10. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I wish I was age 10 again. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, but then ships were made of wood. But anyhow. <laughs> you were throwing yeah. rocks at each other, not shooting things. You were there, weren't you? <laughs> you were the guy hey, behind the tree. <laughs> for guys like you, I'll tell you, too, the cool thing for, for Fred Schultz and, and William Bailey and guys like me and you, um, you are going to like get on a team that most likely will have somebody that's like on a football team, you know, and maybe another guy that's your age and then another fast dude as well. And yeah. you, you have this cool mesh of like, you know, intelligent, old school, you know, like chess player mentality with the, you know, that can send the other guys to their death and make the move that needs to happen. You know, I mean, it's just like it's cool stuff. And then um, as, a, as somebody that's our age, you can compete in a tournament like that. And actually, you know, I mean, um, here I, I wore this. This is the last one that I got. Uh, also, in, in my. Um, Let's see. Can I get close enough here? There you that go, right there. Third place. Oh, how cool! So, so you guys get you, you guys. Oh, you guys give out medals when you do that, then, huh? Yeah. So every event's going to have uh, you know a three podium you know winners. Um, the teams are always whether it be it could be three man, it could be five man, it could be six man teams. It just depends on how many people sign up. Right. So we never know. But yeah, everyone that wins on podium is getting like you know trophies or medals, and also prizes. I mean, you know, our sponsors like Mean Gene from autocockerparks.com and Paintball DNA, Arcade Laboratories, um, CK um, Contract Killer, um, Critical Paintball, um, Paintball Revolution. You know, these guys are all throwing up stuff, and every event, people are going home with cool things. So, you know, it's fun. They, They win something. And it gives a chance for somebody who's a beginner or, you know, maybe not quite as fast as they thought they needed to be to play, you know, on, in a tournament. They're able to and they can compete and maybe win. So. Yeah, Steph, and, you know, Gumby just said, uh, he goes, I won $50 with Michael Burkhart. You know Michael Burkhart? Yeah, Michael Burkhart is one of the, uh, the general or the uh, captains on uh, the end game. Oh, is he? Excellent. Yeah. I, I can't wait to come down and do that. I'm actually going to go live when I come down there. Nice. Um, so, oh, yeah. So you're going to be there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm helping run the event with Ivan. So oh, I'll be, yeah. like, yelling and shouting in the parking lot and getting stuff going and make sure that the games are, are run, uh, you know, well and that, you know, there's no cheating. Right. Right on. Well, <laughs> I, you know, I hope to have you on down there with me uh, when I go live. You know, yeah, I definitely. Steal some of your time. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, Todd, I, I appreciate so much you coming on tonight um, and, and telling us a little bit about that. And I'd actually like to have you back on again. Um, oh, because, yeah. Uh, we, we, you know, we ran a little long with Andy uh, because of his thing this, this weekend. And, uh, but I'd sure. like to have you back on again, if it would be all right with you, maybe in a few weeks. Or- yeah, definitely. Well, maybe we'll come back with a couple of the uh, generals and commanding officers from Endgame. And, let's do uh, it. You know, let's do, let's do this again. Uh, definitely, oh, yeah. we got a, a good group of guys. I mean, you got six characters that definitely will have a fun show. So, oh yeah, well, let, you know, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, maybe uh, three three weeks, we'll do it before the event, so that we can, uh, you know, raise a little more interest for it. Yeah, sounds good. So, um, so is there anything you want to mention or anything before we go, or uh, you just want to say goodbye to everybody, or? Nah, um, you know, if uh, you guys want to join, you can see behind me, uh, I'm the captain of the local resistance paintball team as well since 1986. And uh, really, it's more of a walk-on uh, community of paintballers at this point and a lot of teams. And, you know, people are chatting and buying and selling stuff. And, you know, it's really just a Southern California as well as it's kind of branched out even further, you know, from going to SPEW and events like that where I've met people from 
back east, etc. But yeah, feel free to join the local resistance page. And uh, that's just some fun chat, you know, and paintball stuff in Southern California. And then, uh, of course, join the PBSL Southern California uh, page and you can you can follow our stuff. Okay, that's your website. That would show where all your events and everything are then, right? Yeah, it's on Facebook. It's not a website. Um, oh, okay. There's also, I'll mention, it's kind of confusing. The old page we left up because it's got a lot of history on it. We started it as PBSL SoCal, and it was private. And then we eventually realized you can't share photos on a private page. So, but there's millions of old photos and videos that we just didn't want to like, you know, we couldn't transfer over and we didn't want to delete. So we left that page up for history. Um, but PBSL Southern California is the current Facebook page. Sounds good. But right. Todd, I appreciate very much you coming on tonight. And uh, cool. you know, I look forward in a few weeks, Bill. What do you think? We bring these guys and the generals on? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm, and I'm Gumby. And bring Gumby on. Everything. Yeah, get Gumby on there. Gumby! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> right on Todd you have a good evening and one more time right. thank you so much for being on yeah no problem talk to you guys soon All right, buddy. <laughs> that's Mr. Todd Winokur, um the commissioner for Southern Cal PBSL great guy huh Billy yeah yep. yeah I you know uh, I you know I can't wait to have him on again we have Gumby on and have a couple of the other generals on and Maybe I'll just let you handle that show, and I'll just kick back and watch it, man. <laughs> you just need to get one of those red noses and put it on there, and every time he goes to talk, he's <laughs> Yeah. You, you know what? When we were at the, when we were at Monte Casino, every time the crowd would clap, when you were up there, you know, giving stuff out, you could hear the horn go. <laughs> yeah. And I got to tell you, I had to laugh every time. I, you know, it, riffing out there, you know, you hear him on the field. You know, yeah. every time he'd shoot somebody or something, he was honking it, and it's like, oh my gosh! Oh god, that was so funny. He yeah. he's a great guy. Yeah, you know what he is. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to go down it. You know, I can't wait to be with him and Todd and everybody in, in this uh, game in December. But uh, I'm looking forward. I want to have them on the show, Bill. Again, um, you know, we'll bring them all on. Yeah. Heck yeah. And yeah, so talking. So you got anything new going on? Uh, working on Monte Casino for next year. Uh, we, we're going to go ahead and put on uh, Pirates Plunder here in about six weeks uh, at, at the Paintball to Go. Uh, so, you know, we're looking forward to that, you know, and uh, kind of a surprise. What, what, what exactly is that, Bill? I... Pirates Plunder, it, it's, yeah. it's, their, it's their pirate-themed big game that's usually on at, at this time. But uh, we weren't going to do it, but we had so many people that wanted us to go ahead and do it. We're, you know, Joe and Andy decided to go ahead and go for it. So, oh, uh, cool. yeah. So, yeah, if you check out at paintballtogo.com, you know, they'll they'll have their registration there and, and uh, the entire, you know, description of the game. Everybody dresses up like pirates. and Art. I like it. Yep. It's pretty fun. You know, of course, they got the pirate ship. So, you know, that, that's what they it got. All they got one hell of a pirate right. ship. Yeah, you, it's, need, you need to say that. Yeah, one hell of a pirate ship. You know, it, it's full scale. They're not joking. You know, they're not joking around. It's just not some little boats or something out there walking around with a picture of a pirate ship. I, I, I walked out there and seen that boat. On thirty feet tall, damn pirate ship. It's a real <laughs> ship. You know, they're just waiting for the rain. Yeah, I, you know, it's huge. That that was unbelievable when I seen that. And you know what? Not very easy to fight around either. No. Oh my God! You know who's calling? Oh, oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. It's Tim. What's going on, Timmy? Hey, I just wanted to kick in thanks for the kind words, but me and Bill played in the three man this weekend with uh, with the secret weapon Al, and uh, <laughs> had a great time down at uh, Conley's Ridge. Right on. But I, but I gotta tell you. I gotta give a shout out to Jamie Conley and his bunch. Yes. Those guys played straight up and hard, kicked our ass in the semifinals, and they did it with one of Jamie's kids. It's I mean, they, those guys are great. Yeah, they have, I, you know, I got to meet him for the first time, you know, at, when we were in Illinois, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, and I, I yeah, like the kids I, he brought there, too. 
Yeah, he was he was great, man. I tell you, it's, it's they knocked us out. See, you know, go to Germany, have that much fun, be around people that were that much fun. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you ended up what six or something like that? Yeah, I think six out of thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, we had a good yep. time. We had our moments. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I hear it's only an hour from where you live, huh? <laughs> Five hours. <laughs> 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 it's in the mud, Bob. That's what was on the <laughs> site. Google Earth, and I go, no, that's the wrong place. So I call a guy, and he calls me back, and Google Earth was right. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get up at five thirty. I had to leave at five thirty in the morning to get there in time, which is, you know, a crime for me. Yeah, we left at three thirty. <laughs> Bill says he left at three thirty, so he thinks you're yeah. whining. Yeah, but he had Hal driving. Oh! <laughs> I drove there! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's got no room to talk. He slept all the way down. <laughs> oh, I, I drove down there. Hal drove yeah, back. Anyway. And I just thought I, I, I just had to do a shout-out for Jamie and his kids. Oh, They're right on. Good job. I'm glad you did, Tim. You know, I, I had to talk about your field, too, uh, oh, at the I, beginning I, of the I show. So. The, I appreciate all the kind words. Yeah, we work hard. Yeah, you but, deserve uh, it. That field is just, uh, I, like I say, I told everybody, you know, that if you're within a 200, 300 mile radius, it's worth the drive to go there. And then I also told them to bug you when they got there, too. So. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm trying yeah. to help here. Yeah, they're all, they're all chicken sandwich. <laughs> Bill, 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 says, Bill says chicken sandwich. Does that mean anything yeah. to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of his buddies, we went to a roast beef sandwich place. He asked how the chicken sandwich was. I said, but you nuts. What's the science say? He goes, who's roast beef sandwiches? I go, enough said. Yeah, that's like going into Subway and asking. Ask. Um, uh, oh, Fred, you locked up. Fred. Hi, right, buddy. You take it easy. Wow, what happened there? Uh, we're still alive. I don't know. That was weird. Everything. Yep. Did you see what happened? It all went. It all went dark and started. Yeah, it all circle. froze so. up. You froze up. I was still alive, and then all of a sudden it just went totally blank. And then, but now we're back. Oh, I didn't freeze up. I was stunned. Oh, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> right now, Billy. All right. Well, you know, Bill, we got that uh, the um, the big thing that's coming Friday at five o'clock Pacific time, seven yep. o'clock your time, eight o'clock on the East Coast. Um, yep. The big announcement. So uh, Rico wanted me to go ahead and tell everybody tonight. So five o'clock this coming Friday, please tune in to um, Flagpole Productions, and uh, we got the announcement of something pretty cool that's going to be happening next year, and I yep. think you guys are going to want to be involved, don't you, Billy? Oh, I know they will be. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, heck yeah. All right, Bill. So uh, another great evening. I, I know you're dying to open up your package that you just got. Oh, I, I already know what's in it. I already ripped it open. <laughs> oh, did you? Ah! <laughs> I, I wouldn't have waited either. <laughs> right there. Pump kits. Oh, look out. Look yeah. out. Absolutely love it. All right, Billy. Well, I think we had a pretty good show tonight, Bill. Yep, it was. Yeah. Um, well, and I'm looking forward to having Todd back on along with, uh, you know, uh, Gumby and some of the other generals that are going to be on there. It's going to be yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it should be a good good game for you guys. It will be a lot of fun. I wish you could be there, but, uh, yeah. you know, I wish I could be at the Pirates thing, too, and I can't yeah. be there. So <laughs> it is, a lot of it stuff is what it on. is. So yeah. James Stevens. Hey, James. James is watching us. James is uh, a very, very good person. So... Uh, I like him a lot. So, yeah. All right, Billy. You have a good evening, and uh, tell Susan I said hi. All right. Will do. All I'll right, buddy. See I'll see you guys. All right, everybody. That was Mr. William Bailey, uh, my co-host. Uh, you know, I want to thank everybody who was on tonight. I want to, one, one more time, I want to mention the Ellie Remember Foundation uh, this coming uh, weekend in Colorado on Saturday. If you can't get to it, get online to Ellie Remember Foundation. And check out some of the things and go ahead and, and bid on some of the things in the auction. It's going to be a pretty cool thing. You're going to want to do that. And I also want to thank very much Mr. Todd Winokur for coming on tonight. 
Andy Sturratt. I want to thank everybody that tuned in and watched us tonight. And remember, this coming Friday, a special edition on Mr. Fred and Friends at 5 o'clock Pacific time. A pretty good announcement coming out. Something that, that we hope is going to better people. So, until next Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, to get out there and play some paintball, everybody. All right?